Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as you guys can see, the new BoJack campaign has officially started on Global. And in today's video, we're gonna check out exactly what's going on. So without further ado, let's pop into the news. And this new campaign is called Galactic Crisis Protect the Earth Campaign. Various events are here. New SSR BoJack will show up in the Dokkan Festival after Dokkan Awakening. He can transform into full power Bojack by launching his active skill. Don't miss out on other events including a new Dokkan event of course for Bojack and new Extreme Z battle. Now I'm pretty sure I know exactly who the new Extreme Z battle event is for but I'm not 100% sure so before I get people too excited let's just keep going. Uh, come join the events and enjoy Dokkan battle. So of course from the top we have a new login bonus, pretty standard, special missions, of course, and uh, double rank EXP, interesting. Um, okay, so obviously double is not a lot, but I wasn't really expecting any kind of boost from uh, the quest mode, so I guess it's uh, like a nice bonus surprise. Um, so yeah, that's the thing, if you guys need to farm some rank uh, levels, then now is a decent time, I guess. Obviously you wanna wait for like three times or four times, but double is better than nothing, right? From there we have Dragonstone Sale, uh, looks pretty trash, we got 32 stones one time, 91 stones three times, very very standard, nothing too special there. We have the Dokkan event, or sorry, Dokkan Festival Banner with Bojack, as well as the new Zhangnya. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, to be honest, because it's been a long time since I last saw the Bojack movie. I think I re-watched re it like two or three years ago, but I never really paid attention to like how her name was pronounced. So if I'm saying it wrong, that's my bad. But we got the we got the banner, we got Bojack and Songya, and uh, we should be getting the uh, AGL Bardock as well as the Int Future Gohan, uh, Fizz Future Gohan as well, and who else? Who else was on that banner? I don't remember exactly. Now JP did have Tech Ultimate Gohan, but since we had him recently featured, he most likely isn't going to be on the global Bojack banner. I'm hoping, if we're lucky, they give us one of the newer Dokkan Fest units, like the, you know, transforming into Golden Frieza. That might be asking for a lot, but we'll see. I mean, if they want people to summon, then they gotta do something like that, but I don't know for sure. So we'll find out in a couple hours when the banner drops. Um, it's going to be at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight, or 1.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, of course, I will be live, doing some live summons as soon as the banner drops, so if you guys are going to be free at that time, then make sure to tune in to the live stream. From there, we have the Space Traveling Warriors category banner, the brand new category led by uh, Bojack. And uh, of course, I always recommend a skip on these banners, it's up to you, but I just feel like category banners are very poor value for your stones. Uh, new Elder Kai banner, which is always the case for new celebrations. We have the Galactic Crisis pack from the Pilafs Trove, which is going to give you some tickets for the Bojack banner, as well as, uh, you know, some STR orbs, STR Kais, and also Hercule statues. We have the new Bojack uh, Dokkan event for his Dokkan Awakening medals. We have some new stages for the uh, Hero Extermination plan. Uh, and evil power strike back events and these events <clears throat> sorry these uh, new stages are for the uh, awakening medals for AGL Whis and Fizz Hatchiak both these guys are finally going to be getting Extreme Z Awakenings after literally like five years so that's pretty exciting too we have the new ultimate clash uh, oh, for a second I was like wait this is not the new Extreme Z battle because we already have it so yeah this one's coming back but yeah, 29th Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash is uh, here. No surprises there either, because we do get a reset every single month, right? And some story events coming back, of course. The uh, BoJack Movie Story Event, Android 13, Super Android 13 Story Event, and also the Pride Troopers Story Event coming back as well. So if you guys missed your chance to get the uh, Casserole or the Awakening Medals for the Int, uh, Pride Trooper slash Topo, then now's your chance to get those medals. Uh, again, we have... Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the new Extreme Z battle. This is the new Extreme Z battle. Int, Gogeta, EZA, 
absolutely amazing, phenomenal easy gate, one of the best for sure. Not the best in my opinion, I do think that obviously this Vegito Blue is better, I do think that the LR Goku and Frieza and also Int uh, UI Goku, those are better easy A's, but this one is definitely top 5, I, th I think. He's really good, that's my point, it's, he's really, really good, so if you guys have Gogeta, then get excited for sure, because um, he's going to be a lot of fun to use. And uh, on his banner, it looks like we have the Fizz Broly, who is actually also a really good uh, Extreme Z Awakened unit. We have the Movie Bosses um, Category Summon, and that is the weakness, that the Movie Bosses category is the weakness for the uh, Extreme Z Battle Event. And what else? Of course, the EZA pack. Uh, we have the Extreme Z Battle uh, event itself for Gogeta, and it's dropping on the 8th. So we have to wait about a week. Actually, a little bit more than a week, but uh, it'll be worth the wait. Trust me. And we also have the... Oh, hold on. I forgot about this. Um, I believe... So it says more characters can be Extreme Z Awakened through the Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku Extreme Z Battle event, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is also when the Gokus, like the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, um, got their Extreme Z Awakenings, the AGL one and the Tech one, I think. I could be wrong, it's been a while since I've checked up on this, but uh, it's, they're the only ones that make sense, right? So I think those two EZAs are also dropping at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not just like saying random stuff by doing some research after this, so for now, don't like necessarily take my word for it, but uh, if that's the case, I will be making a video giving you guys all the details for both the Gogeta EZA and also the two EZAs for the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, okay? And uh, of course, some other Extreme Z battles reopening. If you guys haven't done these or just need the Zenny, I guess, from the uh, higher stages, then you know now's your opportunity for those as well. And uh, the return of the Lord Slug slash Super uh, I was gonna say Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku. The Kaoken Goku Extreme Z area for those two free to play units. The uh, Broly Dokkan event, the Kid Buu Dokkan event, the Gogeta Dokkan event, and also the Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Kaoken Goku Dokkan events will all be available every single day for the entire campaign because, of course, you do need medals um, you know, from these stages for certain characters related to. The celebration and also some more story events coming back as well uh the bio broly story event lord slug event metal cooler and also final form cooler events they're all coming back on the 8th and a new world tournament yo this is actually kind of a lit campaign i'm not gonna lie i mean it's not too crazy but it's pretty dope it's pretty dope all right so we have a new world tournament starting on the 11th um, obviously, when this comes back, that's always an indi indicator for a new world tournament. So, yeah, we got the 36th Global World Tournament. This uh, Dragon Ball Kid Goku is going to be the prize. And uh, I just love the art, man. I, I don't even remember exactly what he does, to be honest. But um, I just love the art. I love Dragon Ball as a series. Um, in some ways, I like it more than Dragon Ball Z. And... Yeah, I'm excited, man, for another, you know, Dragon Ball character, this Goku especially, and uh, just some some more stuff to grind, you know, like, Global has been really dry recently, there hasn't been much to do, so a new World Tournament, even though I hate the mode, is definitely welcome. And, uh, World Tournament Support Pack, uh, oh, uh, oh, never mind, no, I thought this was the, I thought was, this was, like, the weekend ticket banner, but no, it's not, it's, not, it's just the, uh, you know, regular World Tournament banners so nothing that exciting here but we get of course the uh, guaranteed SSR banner the DB saga banner um, the adventure of gratitude story event coming back and also the bizarre rapid mob story event as well uh, these two are always available during world tournaments and that looks to be it guys um pretty pretty solid campaign if I'm being completely honest like got three new extreme Z awakenings um, we got, you know, a new world tournament, we got a new ultimate clash, uh, two awakenings from the hero extermination event, um, and I guess that's it. Oh, double rank EXP as well, not bad either, and yeah, I, I, I would say this is a pretty good campaign, especially because this is supposed to be like a filler 
you know, like, uh, we're kind of more looking for, at least most people, I think, are more looking forward to the uh, Saiyan Day celebration starting on the 18th. So that's about two and a half weeks away. But this is still not a bad, you know, gap filler for for now. So I enjoy it. I'm, I'm happy with it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the details here. Do you guys think there were enough events, or not enough, or just right? I think it's good. I think it's good. I'm not. I'm not upset. And let's quickly look at the login bonus here. I'm expecting just one stone per day, but you never know. They could surprise us. Uh, they did not. Okay, so it's one stone per day for the entire campaign, and in total we can get 17 stones. Special missions. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, one daily stone right there for the daily mission, and then a couple stones, of course, for. The limited missions in total, we're looking at 25 stones in total, and that about does it for today's video. And that is the Bojack movie story event, or sorry, uh, Bojack movie campaign for Global. Um, once again, guys, quick reminder, we will be going live as soon as the Bojack banner is live. So if you guys want to see those live summons in person, or not in person, but like in real time, then Make sure to tune in. If you can't, it'll be posted as a video later on anyways, so it's all good. Um, and that's it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.